happy self love Saturday. This is gonna be a rant and get ready with me video because I figured why not. Also, happy new year, 2021. We are finally here. Look at us, we made it into another year that more or less will have some of the same bumps that 2020 had, but that's okay. We're riding it out, we're figuring it out, we're doing all that we can. Uh, today I am going to shoot a podcast, video, podcast, vodcast, I've heard some people say that, with my friend Austin Hall. Austin is a comedian and one of my really good friends. And I'm very fortunate because I have really great male friends. I just sprayed my face, but you may have noticed I got lashes finally um, from Lash Effects LA, my favorite place to go to for lash extensions. They have not paid me. This is literally just me bigging this place up because it is so good, specifically Stephanie. She is the freaking best and I'm obsessed with my lashes from them. Um, I just, I try my best to keep them going and maintaining them because I love them so much, like really love them. So I've been seeing people on the internet talk about platonic relationships, male, female relationships, and the importance of them, um, specifically when you're single. I've been seeing this a lot on Twitter, like this kind of topic coming up. And I want to talk a little bit about that with myself and doing that, which was a step I very much took when I was just a single gal in the world walking around, I did a really, really, really specific thing. Um, and it was to basically highlight my male friends, my platonic relationships. I wanted them to mirror the kind of relationship that I really wanted to have with a man. Um, meaning the comfort of it, the trust of it, um, all the guys that are in my life that I love so much, they, are people that I know have my back. And when I'm with them, I feel safe and I feel really taken care of and I feel protected and I feel listened to. Uh, those are really specific things to my male friendship experience. And so I was really fortunate that in the last couple years, not only was I strategic with the guys that I decided to become close with, um, the same way I would be if they were women, truthfully. I'm very, very specific and strategic with the women that I choose to get close with, just because I think you should be all the time. I don't think you should ever just take that kind of thing for granted. I actually think your 20s are for just being like wild and crazy and just being friends with anybody you feel. But I think once you start to get a little older than that, um, if you guys are like, what are you doing? I've just been like organizing my makeup. Um, once you get a little older than that, then girl, I think it's time to take your friendships really, really seriously and be strategic about them. Meaning you can't just let any old nobody into your life and have all the time that they want with you. You really just can't. Um, this is my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer, but I use it all over my face, as you guys are seeing. Um, and before that, I use my Laura Mercier powder. This is my like everyday makeup look that I'm doing basically. You know, I, I change a couple things here and there every now and again, but for the most part, I kind of always do the exact same thing. Creature of habit. Um, and I'm a hands. I'm a hands gal. So anyway though, yeah, the guys that are in my life, you know, I hate to say this like, oh, they're like my brother. Cause they're not like my brother in any way. They're, but there is a comfort level with them um, that I really did the work to seek out. And I specifically did it, as I mentioned, when I was single, when I had nobody in my life, when I wasn't really dating, and I was completely and utterly alone, single, single, single. I said, I wanna have a view on the opposite sex, on men, um, but I don't think this matters whether you like the opposite sex or not, but I think whomever you are attracted to, I wanted to have a better view on them because I had felt like I didn't, truthfully. I felt like I was also, you know, just kind of only keeping women around and only just being very like female centric. And I love women, I'm a girl's girl, but I just was like, there's something about having a really great friendship with a guy and being really pleased 
with that friendship and, and, and feeling that same comfort level that I feel with my girlfriends, but with my guy friends. And so that's what made me say, I've got to do this thing. I've got to be a little more specific. So once again, I'm using the basics from my lip bar palette because I love lip bar. And as I said, this is a bit of my everyday face. So you may have seen me. I'm also going to use though a tiny NYX palette um, that's really just very fall colors, if you can see, cause yeah, girl likes that. Um, and, but it's really red. So I always have to remind myself that, that this, these colors are not as brown as they may look there. They're more, um, they're a little more red. So anyway, as I said, so today I'm going to see my friend Austin, who is honestly somebody that I love and adore and I met him uh, via a producer friend that we both have a mutual producer friend and Austin is a really talented comedian and he had introduced me to Austin to write with just got along so well um, this is my Fenty Beauty I don't know if you guys can see it it's well used the kilowatt kilowatt and ginger binge and Moscow Mule it's old but this is so good Fenty Beauty has like really really great products so personally I just use them till they're dry anyway I say that because Austin is one of those people where I maintained such a great friendship with him because one we naturally got along it wasn't like it was very effortless between us um, but it was also when I was single the kind of person that I was like if I was if I was in a relationship if I had a boyfriend I'd want it to feel like how it does with my friend Austin or with my friend Rob or my friend Sonoris or just these guys that I was so comfortable with and so pleased um, in my communication I felt open to talk to them about basically anything I never felt like I had to hide myself or prove myself when I was with them and as I said the big thing for me was feeling very taken care of I don't know about you guys but I think you know I'm a real go-getter type and very independent naturally I always feel like I could take care of myself so when I'm in the presence of people sometimes I want to be able to feel relaxed if I can't feel relaxed and I, I tend to not um, hang out <laughs> truthfully because I'm just kind of like I have so many parts of my day when I've got to be so on and um, and my my sense is super heightened and just all of that that when I'm around family when I'm around friends when I'm around just you know in a casual setting I want to feel as absolutely as much as possible at ease as I can I do not want to feel rushed or scared or nervous or uh, like I've got to be proving something to people I never want to feel that way and so uh, I started to really pay attention to my male friendships and how I felt when I was with these men um, and not to be like oh I should date my friend not at all thinking in that way but rather just thinking this is the same exact feeling I want to mirror in my relationship I want this ease I want this comfort level chemistry of platonic <laughs> of male and female dynamic. And I say that all because, as I said, I'm a girl's girl. So growing up, I, I didn't really have a lot of guy friends. And so my learned behavior of relationships with men was really always from uh, a relationship point of view, a sexual point of view. Like it was never just from like, these guys just want to hang out with you. Like this is just somebody you should go to dinner with because you guys just get along like the same way I would with my girls. I never had that growing up. And so it wasn't until my late 20s when I started to be like, hey, I, I really like this guy that's in my life because he's my friend. Like he feels like my really, really good friend and I trust him and I can talk to him about everything and um and I and I love him in the same way that I do my girlfriends who are some of my best friends. A couple years ago though I made this choice that in my singleness, my single pursuit, that I was going to be more strategic and more calculated in also how I saw my interactions with the opposite sex and not treating it like this like chase or this person wants something from you or I have to prove myself when I'm around them. Nothing of the sort. I get to just enjoy my company and my space. And so anyway, I've been seeing this conversation on Twitter over and over and over again of like how important it is to just enjoy your male friendships for women um, in your singleness. Just enjoy it. Just like 
let that be the guide go out on dates like you would with your girlfriends with some of your guy friends um because it will make a difference in your pursuit and i couldn't agree more it's something so simple and small but i did it myself and i really saw a difference in my own dating experience in the caliber of my dates and in the comfort of my own dates was just the kind of conversation I would have, um, the way I felt, all of that kind of stuff. So if you are single right now, I mean, this is a really hard and weird time to be single. Um, it's something that I genuinely encourage. And that's another thing. What are you guys doing if you're single right now? What are you doing? What are you doing? I've been having this conversation with my friend about like, you know, if you're on the dating apps, which a lot of people are and meeting people via that and trying to communicate with people as much as possible. I'm trying to get rid of my double chin. And, but the difficulty in like, all right, do we go out? Do we go say hi? Do we, do we go kick it? Do we hang? <laughs> um, I think I want my eyes to look a little shinier than this because yo, you can't just be trusting everybody these days. It's like, guys, I'm trying to get my hair done. I'm doing a bunch of photo shoots and content and all this stuff and I'm trying to get my hair done. And girl, it is so hard because again, stylists are not even going into the salon or they, if they're doing at home stuff, they've got to be really, um, careful about who can come over and who can't. And so it's like all of my go-to stylists, before I could even try and get an appointment, I've gotta be like, hey, are you even open right now? Are you even doing <laughs> what you were doing before? Like, am I barking up the wrong tree? Tell me, what, what is up? What's going on, what's going on? I think dating is in that same way. And my friend and I were having a conversation uh, about dating right now and what that looks like and how difficult it is and the rules you have to put onto uh, the person that you're seeing because you can't really just be hanging out with anybody that's just like all willy nilly, all crazy, doing whatever they want. You've got to be like, hey, so are you, how many people are you hanging out with? Have they been tested? Um, who are they with? Like, who, what's your bubble looking like, basically, right? And that is a conversation that you typically wouldn't necessarily have with a bunch of strangers, but you have to right now. <laughs> and I think that's really hard to do. But yeah, tell me if in the year 2020, COVID time, how difficult or not difficult it has been. For me, the challenge this year has been stress level with relationship or with your partner. It's a lot going on. And so you've got to really make sure that whomever I'm giving my energy to, I'm careful about it. I am conscious that we are all going through something. And so you can't be too demanding. Uh, you can't use them the way you might be using other stress relievers like food or wine or weed or whatever your stress reliever may be because that's still a person that's also going through the same thing as you and so that's been the challenge for me understanding my feelings acknowledging when I'm feeling stressed or lonely or need somebody to just talk to or when I'm having moments where I'm like yo I I need to find more balance because I'm I'm focusing too much energy on this thing or that thing um, so yeah it's been an interesting time I'll say that it's been real real interesting So I got some hair from Indique, gifted hair from Indique. This is literally to me the best hair company. Um, I'm obsessed with them, especially for the natural girls, for the curly girls. If you want to blend your hair, then they are the best. I This is kind of the time of year where um, I think of two things, winter months, I think of two things for my hair. I'm either like gonna be bunning it up, as in just a slick back in a bun the whole entire time, or I might put in some hair extensions, leaving out my crown so that I can still be versatile and do some things. And then putting the majority of it back so that it can just be left alone. And I've got a lot of different things coming up in terms of content, video, and um, photo stuff. And so I wanted to do something a little different to my hair, but I didn't want to do too much damage or anything to it. So I was like, I'm gonna put some hair extensions in. So the next time you see me, my hair may be just completely, completely different. Um, I like where my hair is going now. I'm excited for the grow out. I had some damage, so I've been tr trimming it myself. I won't even pretend I've been trimming it myself, but I'm excited for the uh, grow out of this color. Like, so specifically I got it in a way where it was like heavy on the roots. I don't know if you guys can tell. 
like very rooty all over. Um, and so that was because I just was like, I just want one time to do some color and just let it like grow out slowly and just to see what that transition looks like. So I'm excited for it. But um, anyway, next time you see me, my hair may be completely different. Um, so yeah, nonetheless, I'm just putting this out to you guys. Small tip, it's the quickest and easiest thing. But your platonic relationships, treat them in a way where they are the same way you would want your own relationship to feel. The same level of care, the same level of patience, the same level of protection that you are getting from these people is what you are putting out there for the person that you are gonna eventually date. And so you're kind of using that person in front of you as almost the practice, the test around. How comfortable do I feel with them? How much do I reach out to them and make sure that they are okay? And using it as this nice base for what your relationship will be like. And so, and specifically going out on dates just with your friends, the same way you would with your girlfriends, um, but also now with your guy friends. That is something that I think is so, so important. I realized I don't got a lip. I decided I also wanted to add a little more blush, just a little. I, I like to emphasize my cheeks. And I'm gonna use my favorite little drugstore brand, um, Maybelline, they have these matte lipsticks and I'm just obsessed. They're so great, they're really smooth. And I have like a bunch of the colors, but um, this is one of my faves. And then Fenty Beauty. So, okay, now, complete look. Anyway, let me know in the comments, what has it been like if you are completely single? What has it been like dating, if at all, or have you just been remaining single in the last little while? Or if you're in a relationship, what are some of the challenges that you have faced on a personal level within your relationship? For me, it's about finding the balance between my own stress levels with what's going on in the year, um, my mental health, my physical health, and recognizing that I have a partner in front of me and I care about them and I want them to excel and I want to be a patient and loving friend as well as a partner. So tell me, what's been going on with you? Happy Self Love Saturday, my name is Andrea Lewis. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notifications button, and share this video with any of your friends who you think may need it. Bye guys.